Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. Everybody here at Britasia TV and Everything's 13 Bases of Sikhi wants to wish you, the world Sikh Sangat, and everybody watching around the world, a very, very, very happy Vasaki. Vasaki di Lak Lak Vadaya Sabano. Now, we must ask ourselves on this occasion in Vasaki, what actually is this Sikh celebration of Vasaki? Well, first of all, let's discuss what it is not. Sikhs now are not celebrating the Harvest Festival, nor is this the start of the Sikh New Year. Sikhs are blessed to be celebrating the birth of the Khalsa. What is the Khalsa? In 1699, Tantan Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj gathered all of the Sikh Sangat around the world. They called them and they said, Any, everybody from as far as they can reach, come to the Vasaki celebration of 1699. At that time, Vasaki was celebrated as the harvest festival, which our beautiful farmers would celebrate that their crops have come in and they can turn a profit and feed the world. Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj knew this was an important occasion and asked all of the Sangha to um, come to Vasaki in 1699. And he did, a, he did something very special. Maharaj asked, for five heads. He asked for five people, five individuals within the Sangat to sacrifice themselves and give themselves for the greater good. And this call was heard from five individuals from different castes and different backgrounds, effectively eliminating the caste system and eliminating any differences between uh, human beings that are even pre prevalent today. We can learn a lot from the beautiful individuals, the Panj Piyare, that came forward to give their heads. If we are to serve the world, if we are to help the world, if we as Khalse, our mission being to protect and serve the world, Deg Teg Fateh, if we are, that means that we are going to protect the world through the sword. That means if anything happens anywhere in the world, it is the responsibility of the initiated, the Khalsa, to step forward and say, no, that is my mother, that is my sister, that is my brother, that is my daughter, regardless of their color, their cough, their creed, regardless of who they are, we recognize all of humanity as one. So we must step, step forward and say, any injustice that we see, you've got to get through me to get through to them. So if you know anybody suffering, as the Khalsa, as a Sikh of Tantan Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj, it is our responsibility to get out there and alleviate as much suffering as possible. How do we do that? First, we're going to need empathy. We're going to need compassion. We're going to need Deya. Tantan Pyara Deya Singh Ji. So if we, if we first of all cultivate compassion within ourselves, then we can, uh, number one, love ourselves. A lot of people these days forget to love themselves. So you have to Cultivate the love within inside yourself and then spread that throughout the world. And our love comes from our Sangat and from the Guru. Tan Tan Pai Taram Singh Ji. So once you have compassion in your heart, you're going to look out into the world. And because we live in the world of darkness, in the world of Kaljug, you're going to notice there's multiple and many injustices in this world. So we as the Khalsa are there to provide justice to the world. So we see atrocities around the world, not only in our community, but in other communities. It's actually our responsibility to stand up, stand firm, make something of ourselves, so we are able to serve with humility and love others. So Tan Tan Pai Deya Singh Ji, with Tan Tan Pai Taram Singh Ji, you go out and provide uh, help and healing to the world. So the next thing you're gonna need is Tan Tan Pai Himmat Singh Ji. You're gonna need courage. And as Khalse, as Gursik, as Sikhs around the world, there's only one place that we can get our courage from, and that is from our Guru. So every day, every morning, we must wake up and turn our faces, turn our heads, turn our muks to the Guru, not to our own mind, but to the Guru's wisdom and embed that into our daily lives. So the Guru will teach us that all of humanity must be protected and served by the Khalsa, and we must pluck up the courage to do what is right whenever it is needed. We are going to need the courage and the contentment and the compassion mixed in with steadfastness, mokum. We're going to need to carry on this fight. This is not the struggle. This is not a once and done, once and over, 
type thing is gonna is gonna it's gonna require constant effort mokum and guess what if you have the compassion if you have the righteousness if you have the courage if you have the steadfastness to be who you're supposed to be your most highest self then you will become and we can illuminate sahib tan tan by sahib singh will become a reality to this planet the khalsa is sahib sovereign the khalsa is independent ruled by nobody the khalsa is destined to rule but what is our rule going to be we're not going to be after money we're not going to be after uh, oil we're not going to be after power we're not going to be after anything apart from righteousness we're going to be there to serve all of humanity so when we see justice injustice going on all around the world we're not going to say does it serve our self interest to go and help those people no we're going to think what is the right thing to do and ultimately the right thing to do must prevail so the mission of the khalsa is to serve and protect the universe protect the world protect all of humanity regardless of if it causes pain or inconvenience or even death to the khalsa in effect the khalsa has already given their heads when you are blessed with amrit minit being death uh, the a in front of amrit denotes death you are literally becoming immortal on the day of the initiation ceremony of the amrit sanchar you are actually giving your head to tan tan guru gobind singh ji maharaj in the presence of tan tan guru granth sahib ji maharaj in the presence of the panch pyare themselves who is the body of guru gobind singh ji living today tan tan guru khalsa panth ji you give them your head exactly like in 1699 when the original panch pyare gave their head maharaj takes your head and in effect gives you their head in return so on that day you die and you are reborn this is a rebirth so sangat ji in the world you should ask yourself what do you want your life to be about do you just want it to be about the daily grind making that pound making that dollar paying your rent paying your mortgage keeping up with the car payments keeping up with the joneses and trying to fill a god sized hole in your heart with everything ungodly or do you want to live for something greater than yourself do you want to join the initiated the army of god akal purkh ki forge do you want to join the khalsa this is not a retirement plan this is not for those people that have too many white hairs and are already knocking on death's door and they think before i die uh let me go ahead and see what my guru told me all those years ago and let me get blessed with amrit and it's a uh beat death card no the guru is asked after the youth the young we want your whole life and if you give yourself to your if the khalsa in the ripe age then your whole life will be become about serving humanity you it's like living in a movie your your whole outlook on life will be will change you will have a connection to divinity and that's what we're after this god sized hole that we're that we have inside of ourselves that we're filling with everything ungodly in fact we should fill that with god themselves we do this through singing divine hymns this is called kirtan kirtan is the poetry written by guru ji themselves who are the roop the form of akal pur waheguru ji themselves so waheguru ji came to earth in the form of guru ji and gave us good bani this beautiful kirtan poetry that they have sung to us and codified within our scriptures guru granth sahib ji maharaj the living guru and during the vasakhi celebrations we have nagar kirtans nagar meaning town and kirtan meaning divine hymns that are sung so if you are a sick if you are a khalsa even if you are a non sick and interested within spirituality i encourage you to find local nagar kirtan celebrations and join them and join the khalsa because the khalsa will be there the guru will be there in the form of guru granth sahib ji maharaj our living guru the scriptures and the khalsa pant with the panch pyare representing the body of the guru so you can literally join god go around your city or your town singing praises of the of the lord and feel divine love so sangat ji this is your opportunity now how do you want the rest of this year to go do you want to keep stumbling over the problems of life 
and, and being drugged down by life every moment and just saying, what is this all worth? Why are we even alive? Or do you want to find out why we're alive? You have to find out why we're alive by turning to the Guru and asking them. And Maharaj will bless you with immortality. So look within yourself. If you have a thirst, if you have a thirst for knowledge, if you have a thirst for truth, if the words of the Guru hit your heart and inspire you, then the way of the Khalsa is for you. Because the reality is, look at geopolitics, the world's on fire, we're moving more and more into darkness and we need you. The Sikhs need you, the Khalsa needs you. So who do you want to be? The guy that goes to the Gudwara, the girl, the woman that goes to the Gudwara and just has a bit of food, matta takes and does one and goes back to life? Or do you want to transform your very being at a metaphysical level and, ha and ingest the words of God? The Khalsa are the initiated. We are blessed with Amrit. Panj Pyare, speak and sing the Gurbani, the words of the Guru into the Pani. Gurbani and Pani make Amrit. And they take the sword and then they put it in there, the patase, the sweetness. And this becomes the immortal nectar. And this is an offer for you. If you so choose, you can give your head to the Guru and be blessed with this and live in immortality. This is not the 10th step or the last step. This is not what you do before you die. This is the entry level step to the university of the Guru. And guess what? You don't have to be perfect to be blessed with Amrit. All you have to do is be willing to be a sacrifice to the Guru. If you're willing to give yourself to the Guru, the Guru will do the rest. Because our Guru is perfect and the perfect Guru may make you perfect if you listen to their commandments, their bachan, their hukams. So ask yourself, how do you want the rest of this year to go? How do you want the rest of your life to go? Because this opportunity is there for you. How do you want the rest of your life to go? Do you like that the world is going into chaos or do you want to bring order to that chaos? The way of the Khalsa is for everybody. This is regardless of caste, color or creed. You can be black, you can be white, you can be brown, you can be yellow, you can be old, you can be young, you can be male, you can be female. You're going to get blessed with the same gifts our Guru gives to everybody. Just like the sun shines on everybody indiscriminately. Our Guru is Jagat Guru. Our Guru will bless everybody. So if you want the blessings, you've got to be greedy for the blessings and chase down the blessings. Why do we look different? Why does the Khalsa have to stand out? Why did our Guru make us stand out? Why the turbans? Why the long beards? Why the insignias of the Kara? Why the Kirpans? Why the swords? This is so that the world can recognize that is a Khalsa of the Guru. And not because that man or woman is special, but because their Guru is special, that person is obligated to help me in my time of need. So Khalsa Ji, we're supposed to stand out. We're supposed to look different, much like a police officer, that when you're in need, you can turn to the person in the uniform and they can say, that person is responsible to help me. The Khalsa is made to look different so we can serve all of humanity and we can never shy away. Our swords are there, our kirpans are there that remind us that no matter how we feel inside, we may be scared inside, we may be fearful inside, but we look to Tan Tan Pai Himmat Singh Ji, we look to Patan Tan Pai Taram Singh Ji, Pai Teya Singh Ji, Pai uh, Mokam Singh Ji, Pai Sahib Singh Ji, and we say, we want your courage. We want the courage of the Char Sahib Zadeh. We want the courage of a Guru to do the right thing. So our Kirpans are a reminder that the Guru is always with you. That regardless of how you feel, do not fail in the test of life. When it is time to do the right thing, the Khalsa must do the right thing. Not through their own power, but the power bestowed to them by the true Guru. And then when the right thing does happen, it is not that individual's uh, celebration time. This all celebration, all salutations, all blessings are from the Guru and all thanks go to the true Guru. So again, we ask you, who do you want to be? Do you want to be part of the problem or do you want to be part of the solution? Investigate what it means to be a Sikh. Invest investigate what it means to be a Khalsa. Look within your heart. If the words of the Guru hurt, hit you in your heart, 
Do not think what the world has to say. Do not think what the fa your family has to say. Do not think what your colleagues have to say. Only think what your Guru has to say and what Vaheguruji has to say. And take one step towards the Guru, the Guru will take millions of steps towards you. So on this day of Vasakhi, in the celebrations of Vasakhi, while we are at the Gurdwaras celebrating with Langar, literally Langar, providing free food for everybody. Again, you don't have to be a Sikh, you don't have to be a part of our religion to come into the Gurdwara and break bread with us. You can tell your friends, your family, your colleagues that are of different religions and different backgrounds, hey, guess what? We're equal, and because we're equal, let's break bread together, come to the Gurdwara, let's sit on, sit at the same level and eat together, and put this notion of equality, this philosophy of equality into an actual practice, and experience equality through servitude and through love. So ask yourself who you want to be, if you want to give your head to the Guru, tomorrow is not guaranteed. You should be looking for the next Amrit Sanchar and becoming the Khalsa of the Guru in order to serve all of humanity and live in love. Thank you very much. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.